Taking Joseph out to school today. I got a few things I want to do. So yeah, I'm gonna do a few things. So, but this is gonna be like a week's worth of recording. I'm gonna sit and read. Lately, I've been reading a, a book. Take a book of the Bible and read it straight through until you start to grab it, and then what you can find, you just take it and you uh, meditate on it. So I'm gonna grab what I can and write down what I observe and what I can see and then over time reflect on it and then I'll read through a book like 30 times. I don't care if it's Old Testament, New Testament. If it's a bigger book, I'll divide it up and then, you know, read it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading now. I got to make some uh, horsetail shave grass. Um, this is good for OAB, overactive bladder. Uh, stuff like that. It's also good for hair, skin, and nails. It has a key important ingredient in it called silica. So I'm going to make some uh, for the ladies out there. It's great for the skin and all that stuff. But uh, I'm going to make some of that now and then I'm going to be working on a club and I'll show you that in a second. So here's my club that I'm going to work on. I'm actually going to do some work on this today. I've been, I actually have had this club here for a good six years I just never got around to doing anything with it. It's one of my things I do other than making walker sticks and canes. I do make some clubs once in a while just because you know otherwise it's not fully dry or whatever. I thought well this thing's been drying for six years and I was like well I need to do it and get it done. So that'll be another project I'll be working on today. So I'll do this I'll do this twice a day. These capsules here I'm gonna make them so I'll show you. I'm gonna take two a day. Once in the morning once in the later on in the day. Let me show you how you make it real fast. There we go. I'm all done. The horse tail. Eight grass. I got enough for about 25 days, and I'll make some more later on. Um, like I said, just take two of these. Anybody, ladies watching or whatever, horsetail shape grass. Shape grass is very good for you. It's got silica, helps with the overactive bladder. Many of those things can help with. I have to work on the club now. So I'm gonna. I got Dremel sand it and then uh, egg it smooth. So let's uh, let's get to work on that. Next thing I do is sand it, sand it too.
definitely gonna have to be hand palm sanded. It's just way too dry to do by hand. Okay, I gotta palm sand it. I have no choice. Wood is so hard, dried out and so hard. It's gotten really hard, so yeah, it'll make it much better too. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna leave this thick coat on there for a little bit of time, let it soak in, and then I'll wipe it back. I'm gonna go pay a paste wax on it. I might put another coat on there. If I do, I'll record it. But uh, it sucks it up quick enough. I'll put some more on there. That's it for that. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna let it soak in overnight. It's in the. It's in there right now. I'm gonna let it soak in overnight. That way, the oil has time to get it into the wood. A lot of people forget that you know, patience just pay off, and you gotta let it soak in overnight. So I'm gonna let it soak in overnight tomorrow. I'll come over here, I'll bring up the video again, and then tomorrow I'll uh, do that. But that's it for that project. Five years. That's about six years. I things been drying, and tomorrow I know that the oil will be mostly absorbed. Whatever's not, I'll wipe back, and then. The full day, and I'll put a post base wax on it. I'm not too worried right now. Uh, even if I don't put base wax on it, but I'm going to. Even if I didn't, it wouldn't bother me because it's not going to be outside. It's an inside project, it's just for a fun project. So that's it. So I'm done for that one. So Joseph was good in school for the most part. Were you good in school, JoJo? Day two. Keep going. Keep going. Today's a freezing cold day to do. This place is dead right now. So I'm heading home. I gotta go check out that club and see how much more the oil got absorbed. If not, I'm just gonna wipe it back and put a coat of paste wax on a few other projects I gotta do. So, it's really cold standing out here. Okay, it's been 24 hours. It's day two. There's still a little bit of a uh, gum, a uh, little bit of oil left over on this. So, I'm gonna wipe it back. I'm gonna paste wax it. I thought today I'm thinking I'm gonna do my uh, chair. I'm gonna put some more finish to the chair as well. So I'm gonna wipe this back and then we'll paste wax it. But it has had it's got most of it in there. Most of it's absorbed. Alright most of that's absorbed. I wiped back just a teeny bit of what was left over. Uh, we're gonna paste wax this and I'm gonna do my I'm gonna buff my chair. First, I'm gonna buff it with steel wool, and I might scuff it with 250 to 20 grit sandpaper. 
put some more linseed oil on there. Let it soak in for 10, 15 minutes, whatever. And then uh, I'm gonna paste wax it after that. It's always good to refresh your coats, especially that chair hasn't had a coat of oil on it for about five years. So I'm gonna go to paste wax next. Just a simple Minwax paste wax. Give it a good, I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. Time to buff it now. And we're done with this one. There we go, all done. That's a good grip part there. We're all done. Like I said, this one's gonna be a side a lot, so I'm not too worried about it. But eventually I will come back again, like two, three years from now, and put on another coat of oil. I'm gonna work on this chair. I'm gonna buff it. It's really smooth right now. It's really polished, but I think I wanna put another coat of linseed oil on it. And then let that soak in for 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna buff it still wool first, and then hit it with a 220 good sandpaper. Lightly hit it. Get on a few nicks and scratches here, and then I get to it. I don't want to put my gloves on because it's it's really cold out here. Really cold. My hands don't like it, and I don't like steel wool on my hands. I'll come back. Uh, I'll come back to this after I get done buffing it. It's just what I've been doing here. So I'll come back. Okay, down here with sandpaper, 220 grit. Uh, first, I had still wool first. You saw that. And the 220 grit. I don't want to take too much off though, because I want to leave you well. Right in here. And my hands, when I touch it and stuff, it's got a nice polish. So I didn't want to take too much off. So that's why I used 220 grit. So. That leaves your, the imprint of your hand. You wash your hands. We're just breaking the surface. I'm not really going into the wood. I didn't even touch the wood, really. Just breaking the surface so I can get more oil into the wood. Give me more paste wax. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my rig and clean it real fast. Okay, I'll come back and uh, get the oil going. I'm gonna start putting on this oil. The rag. Still a little wet out, snow out here, but that's okay. Better. You might not be able to see some of this, but I'm just pretty much doing the bottom.
I want to show you the, the chair now. It has absorbed some. But not a whole lot. But it's only been like five, six minutes, not even that. The whole point of this is just to touch it up, get some oil in the wood, give it a nice touch up. It, it absorbs some. I already piled on quite a bit here. So it did absorb some, but not much. It sucked up in certain spots where it gets used a lot. So, we get to it and I'll get back to wiping it back, but, you know, grab something to drink, whatever, suck it down, probably take you 10, 20 minutes, whatever, take your sweet old time drinking it, and then by that time you'll be ready to put, wipe it back and then do the paste wax. But that's what it looks like so far. Okay, I've given it about 15, 20 minutes. I got me plenty of rags to work with, you're going to need more than one rag. Clean it off. And then we'll step up to this room. Um, the face fracks. Oh, and don't worry about it. Sitting on it. And the oil leaking onto you. The face fracks will keep that from happening, so you don't have to worry about that. If you are a little bit worried, I'll just put some covering over it. The seat covering, that'd be fine. But, don't worry about that. The face fracks will keep that from happening. If you did like 30 coats, yeah, then you'd have to worry about it. But one coat, nah. We're gonna wipe back now. I set this off, I got another ray. Wasn't that much oil. Truthfully, there wasn't that much oil and it came off. Although it looked like there was a ton on the uh, rag, but really there wasn't that much. It came off. A lot more soaked in than I thought. The bottom's almost sucked it all up. I can't believe that. I think the bottom is sucked up more than the top. Not that much. I'm a little shocked by that, but I'm a little bit shocked. Bottom sucked up a lot more than I thought. Same thing I did with the club, just pace wax. I'm just gonna do the bottom and I'll come back and I'll get ready to buff it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Got me a sock. I'm gonna buff it. We'll be done. I'm just gonna do the bottom and then I'll be done. So just to prove my point, no oil for my hands. Uh, but I, I retain the old beauty of it. Right in here. I didn't lose the oil for my hands in there because I only did it with 220 grit sandpaper. Uh, I wanna keep this thing well oiled and get it a polished look old-fashioned dark deep color look that's all you gotta do 
little bit of work, but it's not, it's fun to do. So Joseph was good for the most part, until he was about going home. That was it. Three. Nice sunny day today. Today is one of my busy days. It's gonna be one of my really busy days. Today's the 10th. It's gonna be one of our really busy days, but I got a few things I wanna do before I get ready for the 10th. So I ain't gonna be doing much in the area of uh, woodworking or stuff like that, but it's one of our more busy days. I'm gonna be working on my, uh, I'm gonna do a cleanse. This is mullein leaf powder <clears throat> from Best Botanicals, whatever. I'm gonna get it on Amazon too. Mullein leaf powder. Red raspberry leaf powder. I have another one that I'm gonna mix up together. Black walnut hole powder. This one here, caution, it is, can only be used for 30 days. Now if you're worried about it, then don't use it, but I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna do this single capsules of this, for 30 days. I'm gonna make, mix these two into a capsules. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. But this one I'm definitely gonna get going on because I need to get back into it. I usually do a cleanse every six months and it's well overdue. Cleanse out our system and get rid of crap. Especially during this coronavirus crap. So let's back one and hold. <clears throat> Remember, I already took one. I don't know, take for only 30 days. And do your research on this one. Do not take a long 30 days. Four to six weeks is at most. No more than that. It's a good detox. It's even twice as strong as the cayenne pepper detox. This is a powerhouse. But be respectful of this one. Come on, Joe. Stop spinning.
Day four. Today's a cold one. Not cracked. Ginger. You know, say it's top dog tree, you can't get much of anything good. Why well, bake differ? This is pink salmon. Ingredients Alaska Wild Cup pink salmon water salt. That's it. It's a natural source of omega 3. And it has one more omega 7. Not many people know about that one, but so they say you can't get anything from that. That's crazy. I'm gonna make uh I'm gonna make golden milk today. I'll show you the ingredients. Milk. I like to use almond milk, but I use whole milk, I don't care. Turmeric, you can use a teaspoon of this. I usually do about a teaspoon and a half of this. Olive oil, you can use avocado oil if you want to, doesn't matter. Put this in after you've done everything. Olive oil, black pepper, I'm gonna use fresh ground black pepper. Grind it in there after I get done with it. Black pepper, you don't need to, these are optional. But Kalon cinnamon. Nutmeg and clove. Some allspice. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour your milk into a cup and pour it into the thing. So I'm gonna get that going. Okay, I'm gonna pour the milk into the thing. So you wanna start off with the milk. Pour the milk into the cup. And then just transfer it to a pan. Transfer it to this. So let's get on that. Oh, by the way, heat up your milk on medium heat, not high. You don't want it to burn to the bottom of the pan. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Whoops! Don't make a mess. Transferred. Heat to medium. A little, a little higher than medium. It's okay. And then also I'm gonna one of these to whisk it with. So we'll get on that. Heat it up for about two minutes, guys. Don't let it get too hot, though. Keep stirring. All the spices are in there. All you gotta do is stir it. And believe me, folks, this stuff does wonders. It does wonders, and take your time drinking this. Mm. There you go, guys. This will work wonders in your body, and it'll, this is the best way to get the turmeric in your body. It's got, it's heated up. It has black pepper. It has the oil. It has everything you need. And it's liquefied now, and you can, it'll get to work on you fast. Trust me, it'll help a ton.
drink it slowly. Let's see if I have any little yellow in my beard there, but I didn't. Take your time, sip it. Takes about 15, 20 minutes to drink. Let me tell you. Took me no more than what? Five, six minutes to prepare. It, it gets in the bloodstream really fast. I'm not saying don't take your capsules, and I will take capsules. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to take capsules today. But it's not sure with you guys today. I'm going to sit there and sip it. Probably going to eat one of my salmon, like both of them. And then I might show. I'm going to take four of these fish oil to load up on the omega 3. It's very important. So, that's what I'm going to do. Move back in a little bit. Fish oil problem. Before I forget, black one hole and the licorice root. <sighs> Starting to cool down a little bit. That's what I want. I don't want to be burning my mouth out. All done, guys. All done. I'm gonna feel a lot better in about an hour or two. I just got something for Tim. It's to review if she qualifies to keep her SSI. This. She has to fill it out. So. I'm going to be praying for this to go good. Day five. Let's go, Joe. Let's go. Okay, I'm at my mom's place right now. I'm gonna try a different today with the golden milk. I'm gonna use almond milk this time. I never tried it with the almond milk, so I'm gonna try it out. You can use different kind of oils like I, I told you before. Virgin coconut oil. I'm gonna use this one. You don't want the refined. This is the virgin. Unrefined. Turmeric black pepper. Use pumpkin pie spice. These are optional. Pumpkin pie spice. Clove. Cinnamon. And some nutmeg. Because I want an 
extra bonus, I'm gonna take a little bit and do a half hour. What I don't finish off, the rest is what I don't finish off in this one. Put the coconut oil in there, you can see it in there. Just getting this heated up. That coconut oil, you gotta cook it up and melt it in there. This helps the, uh, the turmeric absorb much better into the body. As it is fat soluble. Okay, it's all done. I gotta get the black pepper. I got the black pepper and I'm gonna do spices. Pumpkin pie, spice. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. And clove. And all you gotta do is stir it up. Let's taste it. Not that bad. Not when I'm done. They're both done. I sucked them down. The almond milk wasn't that bad. I'm trying to keep my sugar at a low anyway, so. You know, I, I went with the unsweetened almond milk. So I'm gonna clean my, I'm gonna do the dishes here and then I'm gonna have to head out. Okay, dishes are all done. And we're getting ready to get out of here. Is day six. It's dead once again. I think the cold front finally broke. We're getting a little bit of snow. Too bad the camera can't pick it up, but we are. Of course not. The wind has calmed down a ton. Still windy, but not as bad as yesterday. Man, yesterday was brutal. Yep. We also got a toy from Burger King, but yesterday the wind was so brutal. Ever saw this place freeze over? First time in a long time that I've seen it get like this. Unusual. I haven't seen it this bad ever. So glad that cold spell broke. That was brutal. I didn't like that 
it was like I was covered head to toe. I was just fur freezing cold. Couldn't keep my hands warm. I'm not complaining, it's just. And Joseph had to endure a little bit of it too. So I'm just so glad it broke. Today is a whole lot better than yesterday was. I've been sitting here thinking that maybe I should be back in church. I'm back in church? I'm thinking maybe I should go and be at church. Maybe this coming Sunday. No. What'd I say? Nothing. Okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should go back to church. I've been away for quite a while now. Um, it should be, I think I should be on my mind that I should actually get back into the church. I think I do need it. Um, I've lacked. I'm not I'm the, need to touch it. Unless, I know I said I wasn't I'm done, but after being 18 years and not being at church for so long, so I'm about to break to my wife that I'm actually going to go back to church. Um, I don't know what she's going to think. She's going to be like, you're going back to these people. I'm like, I'm not going back to the people. I'm going back so that I can be growing the word. And uh, so I'm about wrapped up with this week and I'm going to start putting this all together and throw it out there for YouTube. And the uh, past three days, it's been freezing cold weather. I'm really thankful for that break in that really cold weather it was getting to me. Um, by the way, it's my third third day of doing the golden milk. I didn't want to record it again. What would be the point? You see me do it already. But I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it right now. But uh, I really do think I should get back in church and I... I miss being there. It's very important for me. I did talk with Timothy a while back, just yesterday. We are in this area where we're afraid to point. Uh, you ever hear the old saying, one tree is pointing at you, three are pointing back at you. These three. Well, that's just an old cliche. So, and they use that as a, don't judge me. No, I have to judge. According, not according to your, my standard, but God's standard, the Word of God. John 7, 24 says, Judge not according to the appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. Matthew 7, 1 does not mean you cannot judge. If people would learn to understand, understand the context of that verse, and know that he's not talking about all judgment is condemned. He's talking about hypocritical judgment. We have to understand that he's not talking about just... Yes, there is a form of judgment that is ju condemned. That's hypocritical judgment. You do this thing that you're judging that person for. You're over there judging this person for doing something that you do yourself. That's a critical judgment. No. Evaluate your life before you go make a judgment. But, uh, and I had to explain that to him, and I'm getting tired. I had to explain that verse in Matthew 18, 20, that it is not just where two or three are getting my name. There I am in the midst of them. And that is true. It is saying that talking about it's on their person, so Christ. But also, if you go back to verse 15, you clearly can see the picture of church discipline. And Jesus is there while you're removing him from the church. Now, my church has got backwards. They think that you got to restore him after they've been disciplined. No! Does it say that? No. It says try to restore them while you are disciplining them. That's the part of the restoration. You discipline them so they can be restored and be in proper Theology and doctrine and sound teaching and not causing disunity in the church, which Rick was. And uh, we're not here to beat people over the head. We are here to fight for the truth. And I'm not. I'm not going to get mad. I told um, Timothy. I said I'm. I'm not going to apologize for what I just told you about that judging and stuff like that. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to say I'm sorry. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to just say, oh, okay, I'll stop doing that. You know. No, I'm not going to stop. Because we're commanded to be discerning. To know truth from error. That's what it means. To discern what is true is then compared to what is false. You have to make an assessment and say, well, is he teaching truth? Or is he teaching a lie? You have to make... I, I'm not just saying, oh, he's a false teacher. He, he's teaching something that's false. 
you know, maybe he might have been wrong. The sermon is not to, you know, put him in a headlock and, no. You're not trying to put him in a headlock. You're just trying to show them that I uh, don't agree with you. Not that I hate you, not that I don't think you're a brother, or any of that. But, so that's where I'm at. So I might be going back to church t this Sunday. Joseph wants to be in the video. For a couple of seconds, and he takes off. Silly boy.